point clouds for Rhino standard edition align so here we have loaded a point cloud uh, that's shown in a separate video and you can see it doesn't line up with the plane um, it's at an angle um, yes we could change the construction plane to meet this point cloud um, but we're going to show a way of moving the point cloud to meet the plane itself so um, things to note here is under options have snap enabled and in Rhino itself OSnap has point enabled uh, that's going to allow us to draw native lines onto the point cloud where they snap to the points and not just any random position on the screen so back to point clouds uh, first thing we have to do is draw the horizontal line so first thing horizontal line here we go select polyline first point second point and right click to finish it's a standard rhino um, process that so there's our horizontal just give it a quick check yeah I'm relatively happy this is just a short demonstration um, something to note here as we get closer to the vertical now this does apply to the horizontal as well but the point clouds not too dense here so what I'm going to do is just increase the point size just to make it a bit more dense now that just helps me snap to points here last thing I'd want to do is be doing operations here for drawing the line and it's snapping through this point cloud where it's not dense and through to a different point I want a nice vertical line select a line click once click again right click to finish um, just selecting that yep pretty happy so select the first line horizontal one there using the shift key I've selected the vertical both selected simply go to the align option shown down here and the point cloud has now changed its orientation and does look pretty good that looks squared up now yes the rotation may be wrong but we can fix that here so if I go here we've got to if I look I want to rotate around the y-axis the axis going up here simply move down here select Y uh, yours may be different but in this case you can see that's the y-axis and just rotate round now there's a flip option that does 90 degree, uh, 180 degrees and there's the rotate which does 90 now I'm pretty happy with this now uh, certainly for a quick demonstration um, looking down on the point cloud it's squared up to the plane yep this looks good and yeah I'm happy one quick thing we could do just to finish off this it's more of a workflow um, is the option here for origin now this is shown in a separate video but it does tie well to this one we just uh, native rhino point roughly in the middle of this point cloud just highlight that so it turns yellow and simply just click origin that's now positions that point I just selected to the center point to zero 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 um, so it's very very useful to see here we've now actually not just rotated and aligned the point cloud we've also positioned it okay you can see in these viewport viewports as well so that's a line point cloud and origin just thrown in to show you that position it uh, neatly at zero 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 as well